In this lesson, I want to address a very important principle about writing functions, and that is that every function should have a singular task that it is to perform and nothing else besides that. You're very tempted sometimes to put extraneous operations in a function concerned with some particular operation. Here's an example. Suppose that you want to write a function that is to calculate a square root. What can you take a square root of? You can only take the square root of non-negative numbers. So should the process of rooting out, no pun intended, negative numbers to be taken the square root of be part of that function? And the answer is no. Should the entering of data to take the square root be part of that function? And the answer is no. Should there be some provision in the function that if it sent a negative number that the function should bail? And the answer is no. The function should find the square root of the value sent and that's it. Nothing more. There should be no if, there should be no prompting and reading in. There should only be the code that is going to calculate the square root. Well, I don't have that here, of course, and if I were to write it, I would use Newton's method. I don't need to write it, of course. The square root function is part of the math library. But the point is, that should be the duty of the function and nothing else. Another example. We go back to our previous lesson where we calculated the volume of a cylinder. Should part of that function be to query the user for the radius? No, that should be done in the calling function, just like I have here, where, uh, sorry, here, where it's in the calling function that we obtain the number to be taken the square root of, and then we find the square root of that number. That is not the purview of that function to calculate the volume of a cylinder. That's the concept.